Hey, we are in Exodus 23 today, verses 6, 7, and 8. Here we go. You shall not pervert the justice due to your needy brother in his dispute. Keep far from a false charge, and do not kill the innocent or the righteous, for I will not acquit the guilty. You shall not take a bribe, for a bribe blinds the clear-sighted and subverts the cause of the just. God's world is a just world, and his followers are people of justice and fairness. And so it says here, uh, we will not pervert the justice. Uh, somebody maybe is a needy person. Maybe that person is not a rich person in town, and you might not be inclined to, you know, you'd be, if you support the rich person, why, well, you know, maybe it'll go better with you, and you'll rise up in the view of the society here. Yeah, that's, a, that's an important person. He's a friend of so-and-so. Well, so-and-so is crooked, but he's rich. That's that's not, the, the whole thing, it, it's indifferent whether he's poor or rich. You will do justice. I will do justice. Whatever the case is, I will do what's right. I will not follow my inclinations or, or be after somebody because they uh, let out that they're, you know, a bad person or something. They behave in a way that that I don't personally like or something. No, I'm going to be fair to them. That's the kind of thing we're seeing here. Keep far from a false charge, says verse 7. Uh, don't even go near it. You know, it's not even like, in, you don't even want to be in proximity to the false charge. See, that's how severe lies are in God's eyes. Remember, Satan is the father of lies. He's the beginning of lies. God is the beginning of truth. Lying, it puts you just exactly squarely into Satan's camp. And as a follower of God, truth, being a complete follower of truth, puts you squarely in Jesus' camp. And so what we're doing is we are, uh, everything is coming into a, a final climax where all the people who choose lies, they're piling up on the side of the liars, and those that are choosing truth are piling up on the side of truth. So right now is the deciding time. It's not like, well, we could wait a month and then start doing more truth. No, we do more truth right now. Now is the time. Keep far from a false charge. Don't kill the innocent or the righteous. Especially, we should be very careful that in no way we somehow cause the righteous person to be killed. That's a pretty interesting line here. I will not acquit the guilty, verse 7. Uh, bribes, 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 verse 8. You, What do bribes do? They blind the clear-sighted and they subvert the cause of the just. So be very careful. And by the way, you might think, well, bribes is just money. No, bribes isn't just money. Bribes come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. I remember here uh, four, four years ago when we had a certain disease circulating and they wanted you to get a certain, a certain um, treatment in your shoulder with a very sharp object. And I remember where they were giving out free donuts. <laughs> Get, get, just go ahead and let us put something there and we'll give you a donut for that. That was a bribe. That was a bribe. And some people who took the donut today wish they had never took the donut. So don't be bribed no matter whether it's food or money or power or some kind of social regard that people, people have for you. Uh, be very careful. Don't do anything that's bribery. Okay? Don't let the cause of the just be messed up because you messed it up. All right, that'll be all for today. We'll come back tomorrow morning.